Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining me here today so that we could discuss Hotel Swirl. So I saw this movie on Tubi, and it ran just over an hour, and I'm like, you know, every morning when I get up, I always look at Tubi, and I end up picking out something that's like about an hour long that looks interesting, and that's what happened here with Hotel Swirl. Uh, the, it's an anthology, which means there's multiple stories that are tied together kind of by the a, a bookend thing of being in a hotel. And the stories also share narrative elements like, you know, relationship issues, trust issues, uh, you know, sex issues, and, you know, kind of a, just the sex and relationship theme in this one. Um, the stories are not all that memorable, but they're okay. I, I thought the first one was better with the card game that just devolves into, you know, chaos and all, all kinds of, of weird moments, but uh, I liked it because it had some, it had some like melodrama, it had some like emotional outbursts, which if you're a frequent viewer here, you know I love emotional outbursts and melodrama in movies, and there's some of that here. Um, the second story, not so much. Like, I didn't really connect with it that much. I feel like the first story is the real draw of Hotel Swirl, but it's solid, and this movie's only like, like I said, it's just barely over an hour long. I thought for probably a mostly uh, inexperienced cast, I thought they did good. I thought that some of the, a uh, couple of them did really well. And then I thought with like the visuals were fine, the, the pacing was okay at an hour and five minutes. Like I said, you're not going to get a lot of depth in these stories, but it, it gets in, gets the job done and gets out. And I don't mind that if you don't have, I'd rather see that than see a concept stretched too thin to where you get bored or it's just dragging on and on. And that's certainly not what happens with Hotel Swirl. Um, so, I mean, I doubt I'll ever think about it again after this review, but it was interesting to watch and it was, you know, a very limited time demand. So in the end, I would recommend Hotel Swirl if you're like me and you just like watching ra any, anything random on Tubi that, that looks halfway interesting, uh, give it a shot. Just keep your expectations like, you know, to be to, for, a, for a watchable movie with some fun melodrama in it. That's my review for Hotel Swirl. If you want to check out more, you can check out my uh, YouTube playlist for movie reviews. There's tons of Tubi movies in there, weird movies of all kinds, hundreds and hundreds of movie reviews. But anyway, thank you for watching this one. I greatly appreciate it, and hopefully I'll see you soon.